And today we're making a craft cocktail from our fall menu. It's made with red pear infused vodka, nigori sake, lemon juice, and Earl Grey syrup, and a touch of saline solution. And this cocktail is called the motherfucking goose attack. So the build for the goose attack is one and a half ounces of red pear infused vodka, three quarter ounce lemon juice, a half ounce Earl Grey tea syrup, a half ounce of nigori sake, two dashes of saline solution. It's shaken, it's double strained, it's served up in a small coupe glass, and it's garnished with some red pear slices. All right, all that being said, Let's jump in to the prep work. Tools you're gonna need today for the prep work. You're gonna need a cutting board. You're gonna need a knife. You're gonna need a kitchen scale, something that can weigh out grams. You're gonna need a citrus juicer. You're gonna need a pot. You're gonna need a liquid measuring cup. And you're gonna need some containers to store in. All right, so first things first. The first thing we gotta prep is our red pear infused vodka. Now, we've used this process before in the summer menu, so I'm sure if you've watched our other episode, you're familiar with this process. Um, and we are just gonna do a simple 24 hour infusion with our red pear and our vodka. So we are going to need 750 milliliters of vodka and 640 grams of red pears sliced thin. Now that recipe will yield you somewhere around that 16 to 18 cocktails. So if you don't need to make that many cocktails, you can cut this recipe in half. Uh, I already made a batch earlier, so I had it ready for today. So I'm gonna make a smaller batch here, but uh, I'm gonna go through the process with you. All right, so let's grab our scale. We already have our cutting board and our knife out. Uh, we're also gonna need a storage container. We're gonna place that on the scale, zero out that scale. And uh, we're gonna grab our red pears and just start cutting chunks off our red pears. Uh, so just cut right around the core. And we're looking for 640 grams of red pears. All right, 640 grams of red pears. That'll be about four red pears. Now that we know this is already 640 grams, all we gotta do is slice these pears real thin. Now we wanna slice them thin because we want the most amount of surface contact between the vodka and the red pear for the best flavor infusion. So I'm gonna take all these pieces I already weighed and I'm just gonna slice them real thin, just like that. Grab another container here and throw those slices into the container I'm going to infuse in. All right, last one here. And while I'm cutting up pears, I'm going to go ahead and cut my garnish for the drink as well. I'm just gonna grab one side piece just like that. I'm just gonna slice thin slices. I'm gonna try to keep the corner intact a little bit because what I want is something I can fan out just like that. So if you don't cut all the way through and you keep the edge there, you can make this Pretty little garnish right there. Put that there and we'll set this aside for garnishing later. Now, I have my 640 grams of red pears sliced. Let's grab our measuring cup and we're gonna measure out 750 milliliters of vodka. Okay, pour your 750 milliliters of vodka into your sliced red pears. Grab a lid, cover that up, give it a good shake, make sure all the pears are covered. Grab some blue tape to label and date, and we're gonna store that on our counter for 24 hours, and then we'll be ready to go with our pair of vodka. Also, whenever you walk by your pair of vodka every so often, give it a good shake. Really make sure that infusion happens. Now, as I said, I made a batch 24 hours ago, so I was ready for today. As you can see, what happens to the red pears as they sit? <clears throat> Let me just grab both, you can see the color difference, man. That's so pretty. I feel like this is such a pretty, I don't know, look. I just love how this always, I've always loved how this looked. Just the red pears floating and the vodka looks really cool. Uh, doesn't look so great 24 hours later. Pears lose their color. However, it is super tasty. So what we gotta do is grab another container, open up our red pears after it's been 24 hours. Mm, smells so good. And you can see the color in that red pear 
vodka. I really press vodka out of those pears. Mm. Vodka pears. That tastes like straight vodka. That'll get you fucked up. Okay. So our red pear vodka is strained. You want to just take that label that you made, place it on there so you know when it was made, and the shelf life on this guys is up to a month refrigerated. Next thing we got to do is make our Earl Grey simple syrup. So we're going to grab our kitchen scale again, grab another storage container, place it on that scale, make sure you zero out that scale, and for our Earl Grey tea syrup, you're going to need 250 grams of sugar. All right, we got our 250 grams of sugar. We're gonna throw that into our pot. Next, we gotta weigh out 250 grams of water. 250 grams of water, add that to the pot. And lastly, we're gonna need two Earl Grey tea bags. Open those up, and I'm just gonna throw those into the pot with the sugar and the water. God, I love the smell of Earl Grey. And we're gonna turn our burner on to a medium-high heat. Grab our bar spoon, stir that around. And what we want to do is bring that to a boil uh, till all the sugar is dissolved, and then turn that heat down, and then let that tea steep for 10 minutes before removing the tea bags. Now, while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and cut and juice my citrus. So, let's grab our cutting board again, grab our knife, and grab a few of my lemons here. Half. Boom. A couple containers. All right, let's crank this lemon juice out. Get out of there. Ooh. Lemons shooting everywhere. All right, our lemons are juiced. We want to go ahead and double strain our citrus juices. Always get all that pulp out of there and strain it a second time. As always, let's grab our blue tape to label and date. Remember, lemon juice good for two days, throw it out on the third day. Citrus is done, let's check on our syrup here. Starting to get up to a boil, getting a little hotter. I can see the tea is steeping. All right, guys, that syrup's starting to come to a boil. Just gonna give it a stir, I'm gonna turn the heat off. Now, while that's still hot, I'm gonna pour it into a storage container real quick. And I'll let the tea steep a little longer in there. That way I can use my pot for our next step. Well, this is still hot. No need to put a lid on it, really. I'm just gonna label and date it. And I would say this guy is good for up to a month refrigerated. All right, guys, I got my pot washed. Now we're on to our last step for prep, and that's making our 15% saline solution. So you may be wondering, what is a saline solution for? Pretty straightforward. Just like how you like to salt your food in cooking every once in a while, it's nice to add a touch of salt to a cocktail just to bring out that bouquet of flavors a touch more. So we're gonna grab our kitchen scale, grab a container, place it on that scale, zero out that scale, and I'm gonna weigh out 250 grams of water. Add that water to our pot. Next, we're gonna weigh out our sea salt. Now, we're looking for 15% by weight. So 250 grams of water, we're gonna need 37.5 grams of sea salt. Make sure that scale's still zeroed out. All right, 37.5. Let's add that to the pot with the water and kind of just like making a simple syrup, we're gonna turn our burner on to a medium high heat. Grab our bar spoon, give the pot a stir, and we're just gonna bring that up to a boil until all that salt dissolves. All right, and while that saline solution's going, I'm just gonna get these tea bags out of my Earl Grey tea syrup so they don't continue to oversteep. You can just place a lid on that syrup and set her aside. All right, guys, it's looking like all that salt's dissolved. I'm gonna turn the burner off, grab another storage container and a lid, and we're just gonna pour that into our storage container. And, you know, saline solution, guys, really not much of a shelf life. It's just salt and water. I try not to keep many things longer than a month uh, if I don't have to, so you label and date it though. All right, there you have it guys. That is all our prep work today. We made that red pear infused vodka. We made our Earl Grey tea syrup. We made our saline solution. We juiced our lemons. Let's get making the goose attack. All right guys, we got all our prep work done. I went ahead and threw my Earl Grey tea 
syrup in this cheater bottle here, my lemon juice in the cheater bottle here, and I put my pear vodka back in the bottle here just to make everything super easy and smooth for making this cocktail. So it's a shaking cocktail, so we are gonna need our shaker tin. We're gonna need our jigger. And we're gonna need our glassware. So as always, working cheapest ingredients, the most expensive ingredients. We are gonna start with our three quarter ounce lemon juice our half ounce Earl Grey tea syrup, our half ounce Nagori sake, an ounce and a half of our red pear vodka, and we're gonna need two drops of our 15% saline solution. Boop, boop. All right, let's grab the large side of our shaker tin and grab our ice. Fill the short side of the shaker tin all the way to the top with ice. I'm gonna seal that bad boy off and shake for 12 seconds as always. Twelve seconds. Crack your tin. Oh yeah. Grab your glassware, grab your Hawthorne and your basket strainer. We're gonna double strain that cocktail. And lastly guys, Grab our garnish, gonna fan those red pear pieces. And we're just gonna place it on there just like that. There you have it guys, the goose attack. Let's taste. Just dip these down in there so I don't lose them. Man, you get the Nagori sake on the nose, man, that kind of like pungent note you get from uh, from good sake, fermented rice. Man, that's such a refreshing fall flavor forward cocktail. It's so light. The red pears are just like quenching my thirst, man. They're so juicy. Perfect balance of acid. Those Earl Grey tea notes come through so nicely. A touch of salt really helps bring out the flavors in this, man. This is such, oh my God, I can crush this. I'm so hot right now under these lights. Oh, fuck yeah, man. There it is, the goose attack. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this cocktail. Maybe you made it along with me. Maybe you wrote it down, save it for a later date. Either way, let me know how you're liking everything. And uh, hey, become a regular somewhere. Become a regular at your local watering hole. It's the best way to support local business. And become a regular here at Happiness Bar by liking, commenting, subscribing. Hit that bell if you want notifications. We got cocktail videos coming out every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern to get you ready for the weekend. Stay happy, everyone. Peace.